And now at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, two Northridge businesses were hit by thieves. The group of at least eight targeting businesses with ATMs. Welcome to KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Leslie Marine. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. We're also streaming live right now on KCALnews.com. The owners say the suspects got away with tens of thousands of dollars in cash and goods. And KCAL News reporter Rena Nakano shows us the extent of the damage left behind. It's not what Catalina Palomino wanted to find when she got back from vacation. Her South American grocery store and restaurant in Northridge ransacked by eight thieves. It's like a movie. They, they use a mask, white mask with gloves, every, everything black. Security video shows eight thieves in four cars drive up into this strip mall off Tampa Avenue just before 4 a.m. Thursday. They don their masks and make a beeline toward Pisco Sour Market. After they smash their way into the front glass window, Palomino says they took at least $20,000 in cash from the ATM and registers, goods, and lotto tickets. Just watching how quick and precise their actions were, Palomino says she wouldn't be surprised if the thieves had been here before. The regular customer knows where is that, for example, where is the soda, where is that money transfer, where is that each area, no? so they know everything. But the thieves weren't done. As they were leaving this strip mall, one of them started peeking through windows and found an ATM right here in this barber shop. Their security video shows one of them smashing the lower part of the door and seven others follow, crawling inside. Within four minutes, they broke into the ATM and stole thousands of dollars worth of clippers and tools. So you got this one, maybe one more here, one more yeah. here. One more Both owners here. say they began their small businesses just a few years ago. They somehow survived the pandemic, but this loss is devastating. They're both planning to improve their security systems to protect themselves in the future, but in the meantime, they say all they can do is move forward. I am smiling because I tend to be strong. So if I feel sad, my family will be sad with me. I want to keep my, my store. I want to keep my restaurant. I want to keep my life. So I need to be strong. In Northridge, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL News.